people ask me all the time, why do you hunt bears? And there's some common answers that most hunters would give, and and, and I agree. And they'd be, oh, um, bears are, are great to eat. And they really are. I, I love bear meat. Another thing is conservation. Without hunting in general, none of our species would thrive like they are today. But I think the biggest reason I love hunting in general is the challenge and the awesome people that I get to spend time with. This is the part of bear hunting they don't tell you about. Because this sucks. Tent fell down. All my stuff is soaked. Oh, he's going. Yeah. Dude, he's going. Alright, so we just got up here, been hiking for a little bit. Um, we got about three miles to our to our base camp, and we'll probably stop a little bit, glass along the way. We have a couple rivers to cross as well. Well, a couple, well, one river, got across it a few times. Um, on this trip this year, we've got Raiden and Brody again. We've also got Ty, Ty Berry, he's coming this year. Um, and then our cameraman, Kincaid, he's gonna be on the trip as well. So we're stoked, super hot, it's way warmer than we kind of expected it to be. Um, but it's good because there's not a ton of snow, so hopefully the bears are going to be out and about and uh, we can find something in the next couple of days. We've got seven days to get it done, so I'm um, just going to finish up today, kind of glass around, set our base camp up, and then uh, we'll see how it goes in the next few days. Alright, all the tents are set up. Here's the main Kincader rocking. We got the Guardian. Two people can fit in there. Pretty easy, super easy. So we just got our bags out. And then all our other stuff we'll get out later. But Raiden's got the Silex going, the one man. And then Ty and Brody got this teepee. Pretty sick. How you doing, Brody? Great. Heck yeah. Just eat, like always. Gonna get some food and try to go find some bears this evening. Well, we're about finished up glass in here today. We found an awesome spot we could see a ton of country from right here. Um, didn't see anything tonight, but hopefully we get up in the morning and we can, we're going to hike up this canyon a little farther and, and uh, see what we can find. Hopefully there's some bears out tomorrow morning. Um, up this canyon is a good spot where we, we've seen bears in the past before, so um, we're just going to go head back down to camp here soon and uh, see what we can do tomorrow. morning of day two. Um, everyone slept pretty good last night. The weather was great. So we're gonna head up the mountain right now, head up the trail a ways. We've got a crick crossing right up here. 
Hopefully the water's not too high. It's still pretty high from yesterday, but let's see how far we can make it. Hopefully we find some bears. Well, bit of a bummer. The uh, river's just kind of raging way too high in that spot that we usually cross. So, um, we kind of split up. Me and Raiden are going up to glass on this glassing knob we were at yesterday just to see if there's anything over here really worth trying to go after. And then Brody and Ty went down river to try to find a better place to cross. If we can't find anywhere better to cross, we might just have to head back down closer to some lower country where we don't have to cross any rivers, but we'll see. Hopefully we can find a good spot. The weather's supposed to stay super warm, so with all the snow melting, that river's probably just gonna stay pretty high, but you never know. If we find a good spot, it might be worth it to just stay up here and keep hunting this area. So we'll see what we can find today. Hopefully we find some bears and find a place to cross the river. Well, we finished glassing this morning and uh, didn't see anything up the river. So kind of decided since the river's so high, we're gonna try to go back down and, and up a couple of these other drainages and just see what else we can see. Um, Cause without crossing the river right there, there's not really a ton of country that we can cover. So we're packing up camp and we're gonna head down the trail, find a new camp spot tonight. Maybe get up on one of these these ridges, we haven't really decided exactly what we're gonna do. Just depends if we can even cross this river. We might have to, we might have to bushwhack around um, to get back to the bridge where we crossed before. So we'll see how it goes. Um, hopefully we can get out and, and get to a good spot this evening and get to Glasson. So we'll see what happens. All right, time for the river crossing. I think Brody's gonna go first. He's already soaked, so he's just gonna send it without taking his pants off. But. Let's see. It really doesn't look that deep, but it is running faster than it was yesterday. Yonder ways. Well, he made it. Brody, Looks sketchy. Like you think it's better to have the current? You think it's better to have the current behind you or walk into it? So the water's looking a little western. It's a little faster than yesterday. I don't think it's very much deeper. Brody just made it across. We're thinking if we hit with the current and try to go kind of right at that eddy. I, I don't know if it's going to be better below or above it and I think we can make it across. I think I think the play is for me to keep my boots on. Um, you're going to soak the boots but you're going to just have so much more traction in, in the water. You can just hold a lot more steady. So yeah. Well, we made it down to the bridge. And so we got camp getting set up right now. And we're gonna head up the hill here to glass for a little bit. Hopefully we can find some bears up here. Um, that creek crossing, or river crossing I should say, took a lot longer than we anticipated. But what time is it? 4.30, so we're gonna head up the hill. We got a few hours to glass. See if we can't find any bears. Warm out here. Huh? It's warm. Yeah. Hot. Super hot. Yeah, I, I 
Yeah, I have a good feeling this looks like a good spot again. We passed this last year, so one there and it comes. And we'll see the wolf tracks? Yeah, there's wolf tracks like the whole way up. <laughs> Alright, we've been glassing like probably two or three hours and uh, haven't seen anything. And uh, the cameraman Kincaid just literally saw a bear. Um, it's probably about, what is that, about a thousand yards away? Yeah. Oh, 1,300 yards away, so it's quite a ways, but we could probably scoot around and get closer. He's kind of in a spot, hopefully, that we can keep an eye on him. And if he wraps around, we'll still kind of know where he's at. So we might make a play on him. First bear of the trip. Okay, I'll turn my inrage on in case anything happens. No kill this bear. He's 900 right now. There's a couple of ridges we can get to that probably get closer. So I'm gonna keep going on these ridges and if we can see him get within six, 700 yards, hopefully, or closer and get a shot up at him. So let's go do it. Let's try to get closer. Okay, yeah, we're gonna side hill around. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we'll just stay on the side hill. Dropped him, dude. Got him. Hit him again. Oh, he's rolling. He's down, dude. He's rolling. Yes. Dude, that was good. <laughs> he's down, bro. I was trying to get closer on him. Sorry. I think it hurt you though. Yeah. Come here, dude. That's a big bear, dude. That's a big bear. Ah, dude. Here we go. That's awesome. Spotted by the camera guy. <laughs> Shot by the previous camera guy. Shot by the previous camera guy. <laughs> it's a redemption story. It's rede that's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's an underdog story. That's what we'll call the film. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
cool. That's awesome. All right, bear tag notched. We're good to go. We're gonna start cutting this one up. Get it uh, caped out, get all the meat quartered up and uh, in our packs. It's about dark, but we have probably a couple miles back to camp. Brody's back there, probably gonna, hopefully gonna have a fire for us as we get back. So we'll see, got the custom work ahead of us now. So we're gonna get it done. All right, we got this thing loaded up. Got everyone ready to go. We, uh, how long do we got out of here? About a, almost a mile, 1,500 yards, almost a mile back to camp. And drop down by the river, take the river out. Should be out in no time, having bear for dinner. So let's get out of here. Thank you. 